Hello, this is Abila David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show us how to dynamically append multiple data across sheet tabs using the filter XML function. In one of my previous videos, I talked about how to split values into multiple columns using the filter XML function. So in this example, we'll see how to append. Now let's see our source data. Now we have you know six records for 2017 and 2018. Now for the 2017, we have 179 records. And for 2018, we have 101 records, including the headers in row one. Now, in the summary sheet, we want to append the data from the sales for 2017 and 2018 in here. And this is a powerful operation that we can actually use the append in the Power Query, but in this case, we want to use a formula based solution and we'll be taking advantage of the power of the filter XML function. Now, let's come to the system 2617. Now, because we want to make it dynamic in the sense that when we build a formula and the new data is added to the source data, it automatically updates. Therefore, we're going to format our data in an Excel table. So, I click in any cell and I deploy Control T. So in this create table dialog box, my date table as headers has been checked automatically. So I click on OK. Then we have this table design contextual ribbon tab. So I'm going to provide sales 2017 as the table name. So I click on enter. So come to sales for 2018, Ctrl T, OK. And of course, we rename this sales 2018 and I deploy enter. Now let's come to the summary. Now, in the cell 2 equal filter XML, the function returns specific data from the XML content by using the specified XPath. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now, the XML simply stands for extensible markup language, and the XPath means XML path language. So these are languages that is used in programming, okay? So because we want to use them in Excel, we must put them inside double quotation for Excel to interpret them as expression. Okay, so I'm going to do single quotes, then we use what is called nodes or angle brackets. So we can actually use whatever names we want inside our nodes. So in this case, I'm going to use Tom and Jerry. So let's start Jerry, then I close that another one. So I'm going to type in Tom. Then I close that and I close double quote. Then we use the ampersand sign. And of course, we're going to deploy the text join function, which concatenates a list or range of text string using a delimiter. So we are using text join because it allows us to specify desired delimiter. So I'm going to press my tab key. Now for the text join, we need to provide a delimiter. So my delimiter is going to be single quote, the node now in this case I want forward slash now this simply means the end tag this I would call start tag now in this case I just want you know Tom close that node another node now I want Tom without the forward slash so I close that and I close the double quote so this is the input value for the delimiter so comma now we want to ignore empty cell so we we'll use true now, the text one is going to be the table we created. So, the table for sales 2017 is sales 2017. And I close that for now. Okay. And I use the ampersand sign to join that with single quote, the node. Now, in this case, I'm forward slash. Um, I want um, Jerry. Jerry. Then I close that. Another node. And I want Tom. Okay, sorry, Tom. After comfort. Okay, then another forward slash, and I want Jerry. Then I close that up, and I close the double quotation. Now, comma. So we have satisfied the XML input value. So for the X path, I'm going to do single quote double forward slash. Then I need to provide Tom. I can use ABC or XYZ or whatever you want. Anything is acceptable. Just make sure that you have two different uh, variables. Then I close the double quote. 
and I close the filter XML. So when I deploy F9, boom, it deliver all this bunch. Okay, so when I deploy Control Shift U, it opens the formula bar. So I can actually see, I can actually you know expand this to see all what it's doing. Okay, so I'm going to do Control Shift U to collapse the formula bar and Control Z to go back and we deploy Control Enter. So the formula spills to the neighboring cells below that's fine so we actually want it to have date customer name unit sold price shipping cost and total so i'm going to wrap everything inside the index function so this is going to be my array okay comma so for the row number i'm going to throw in the sequence dynamic array function press my tab key and of course the sequence requires rows arguments so I'm going to use the count a function, and for the count a, we need to provide value. One. So value one is going to be, I'm going to just type in the table name, which is sales 2017, open square bracket, and I'm interested in the date column. So when I close the square bracket, close the count a, then we are back to the sequence. So comma. So how many columns we want? We have six columns: one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to just type in six. And I close my sequence formula and I close the, in the index. So when I deploy F9, so we're going to see this is what's going to deliver. So no problem, Control Z and Control Enter. Amazing. So we can actually see it's working. So when I deploy Control Down Arrow Key, you remember that we have 179 records in here. Let's do Control Down, okay? 179 and we have exactly the same thing that's cool now let's just copy this value ctrl c let's paste it so the last row is going to be roger barcio 183 so when i come here and i control down arrow key can you see it works roger barcio 183 that's cool so these are actually spill ranges so let's go to cell a to where the formula lives Control A to open up the formula. Now to append the sales of 2018, what I'm going to do is simple. Just come right here in the text function, text gen rather, comma. So I'm going to just provide text two, which is going to be sales 2018. That's fine. And I come to the count A. So I need to provide the value to, okay, comma. For the value to, I want sales 2018, open square brackets. Then we want the date column close the square bracket control enter so when i deploy control down arrow key we have two eight three records and the last name here is fred Hopkins. so let's come to this sheet control shift down arrow key that works okay let's copy some other names okay control c control v now the last name is going to be mary seal okay now let's come to the summary sheet where we appended all of them can you see mary seal everything works this is absolutely magical so without using the append you know functionality in the power query we've seen how to use formula based operation to append our data across sheet tabs so when i deploy control u you can see our formula this is the formula that performs the magic so as i said earlier on you can use whatever you want instead of using jerry and tom you can use anything you want okay that's fine Control shift u i hope you learned something in this video if you learned something and you enjoyed this video be kind enough to subscribe to my youtube channel give some likes and comments thank you and bye for now